hey what's up coders welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how to create a flutter project on android so the first thing that you would need is uh you need to download flutter so i'll show you how to download flutter so you need to go to the flutter io door link and click on the docs get started install so basically use this link and depending on your operating system choose the one and the instructions are pretty straightforward so it's just a zip file and you need to extract it and store it in a particular location and then run this batch file and run few run line commands and you're good to go so if you have any issues let do let me know in the comment section below um, I can create a video regarding the flutter installation so so once you've installed flutter um, you need to go to your Android studio so before starting the Android studio uh, you need to install two plugins um, so to install those plugins click on file settings and uh, the first plugin is dart so since i've already installed um it's displaying an uninstalled button so if you're doing it for the first time you would get an a uh, button to install it so the first one is dart install it and the another plugin is flutter so you need to install both these plugins so if you're done with it give a quick restart and um, you're good to go to create a flutter project so the first thing that you've got to do is click on file click on new and new flutter project then you get a pop-up with three options one of the application plugin or package so since we're creating a flutter application choose the first one and click on next then you need to fill in few details like the project name so make sure that the project name is in lowercase and i'm gonna name it as first flutter app and um, here you have to mention your uh, the flutter location where in the beginning of the video i had um, given you instructions how to download it so you need to mention the sdk path here and here goes your project location and few description about your flutter application then you need to click on next and provide the domain if you have one and then click on finish so this takes a couple of seconds because it's setting up your flutter project so i'll just pause the video and i'll be back to you once it, once it is up all right so the setup has completed so once you have the flutter project created you would see this uh, default main dot dot uh, file open and you can see your project structure so i always uh, prefer to use project view so click on the project and uh, to locate your main dot dot file you have to navigate uh, to your lib folder so this is where you can locate your main dot dot now this file contains uh, a boilerplate code provided by flutter team where it has a navigation bar and a floating button with a functional floating button now to see this in action uh, i already have my emulator running uh, if you don't have your emulator running all you've got to do is click on this avd manager and you would have um, the avd manager open and then um, you can create your virtual device if you don't have one uh, if you want I can quickly show you how to do that so if you yeah so it displays you the virtual devices like I have a couple of them like pixel and Nexus if you don't have one you can click on this create virtual device and just choose one of the virtual device and click next next and you're good to go so once you have your virtual device up running click on the launch button and you would have your emulator running so since i already have my emulator running i'm not doing that now in order to run this particular flutter application all you have to do is click on this run so i'm gonna give a quick run and depending on your operating speed 
it might take from a minute to uh, to two minutes so I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna get this um, project running on the emulator and I'll be back to you all right so the flutter project has successfully run and I can see the output on the emulator and um, now uh, I'm gonna show you how this hot reload feature works now I'm gonna change the theme of the um, app from the blue color to a different one so I'm gonna choose a line and um, when I view it on when I view it on my emulator by using the hot reload you can see the changes immediately so I'm just gonna click on this flutter hot reload feature and if I view my emulator screen it would change to yellow so this is how this is how you can see your changes immediately using this hot reload feature so i'm going to change the text from pushed to clicked so instead of uh, you have pushed the button this many times i'm going to say you have clicked the button this many times so i'm just going to say hot reload and um, you can see the changes on the emulator so so this is how um you'll see the changes and um hope you guys like this video and uh, give it a like and if you have any issues um installing the uh, flutter or creating the project uh, just leave a comment below and i'll get back to you thank you